Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make tiles and tile maps in your game. So you can see here I have a game project all laid out, and this is actually part of my devlog series. But anyway, you can see here that I can just click around, drag, and then I get tiles that are automatically generated in the correct spot, which is really nice. Of course, I can go and individually select a different one, and then add it, and then you can see it will adjust based on that. So this will allow you to really quickly create uh, different levels for your game. So let's go ahead and get started. I just started a new project here which has a sample tile set that we'll be using for this tutorial series. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, so you can see here that you have a bunch of basic uh, 16 by 16 images that we'll use. So let's first set this up. The first thing that we'll need to do is click on here and change the filter mode to point because uh, this is pixel art and yeah okay we also need to change it to multiple because there's multiple sprites in this tile set here and then we can cl just click apply and then slice and we can try automatic but that won't work so we can do grid by uh, cell size so it's 16 by 16 pixels let's see if that works and yeah it does and then we can click apply again right here close out of that and boom there we go you can see all the different uh like individual tiles now and you can see if i drag it in that they accurately uh, come up here in the screen but that's not how we want to do it. So the reason that we want to use tile maps is because they're more efficient. They're just like one sprite inside of the game instead of dragging them individually, which will make them into actual game objects. So in order to get started with this, we can create a new 2D object and we can select the tile map. So you can see here it automatically makes a grid for us, which is great. So with this grid, then we can start with our tile map. It brought in both a tile map and a grid, as you can see here. So I'll click on the grid and I will change it the size to make it a little bit smaller because the 16 by 16 pixels are actually really small, of course. Next up, you need to press Window, 2D, and then Tile Palette so then we can create the new tiles. Okay, next let's create a new palette and I'll just call this Main. Select create, uh, put it in the assets folder, that's just fine. And then we can actually drag in this image. And selecting the same folder should also be fine for now. It'll import all of the individual tiles in, as you can see here. And now we can actually paint these into the tile map. So this is the tile palette, and then the tile map is what you actually see on the game screen. So if you see here, I can go to the paintbrush tool and I should be able to drag some of them in. So you need to select one of these uh, tiles here. You can click the brush and then select it and then make sure you click on the tile map and if I zoom in here you can see that I can place it. But if you look at that right now the image is not the correct size compared to the grid. So let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, to fix this, go to grid, and then reset the cell size back to 1 as it originally was. And now you can see it's way, way too small. So we can actually go to the nature platformer here, and then select the pixels per unit to be 16, because this is a 16 by 16 image. So that will get you the actual correct size here. Alright, perfect. Let's go ahead and start adding a little bit more to this image so I can go and click select and then switch to the brush tool uh, let's try that again yeah the problem I was just having there is this edit mode is enabled make sure it's disabled so then yeah you can select the brush tool you can select as many tiles as you want and then you can pl place them just like that and then if I want to make this taller I can just do something like that and yeah it looks great so let's fix up the rest of that terrain there and next what we need to do is we need to make it so they automatically adjust what tile it's using depending on where you're placing it 
So if I place this, then it has a border all the way around it, and then it has some more middle area right there. So in order to get the rule tiles that I was talking about, we have to download from GitHub the Unity Technologies 2D Extras. So I will go ahead and download this. Download the zip. Okay, I will open it. And for now, just unzip it onto my screen. And then once it's unzipped, we can go ahead and in the packages here, we can just drag it in as a new package. And that should work just fine. Now if you right click, click create, and then 2D tiles, you'll see there's the rule tile. So let's select that and just name it grass rule. All right, perfect. And then what you can do with this is if you click on this, then you can see this inspector window comes up here and we can have a default uh, tile or sorry, a default sprite actually, which we can use just from here, one of the actual sprite images, but we don't need to have that because we will be setting a custom one. And how do we do that? Well, you can see that there's a tiling rule right here and we can add a new rule. And you can see there's this uh, three by three grid here where we can select to say, okay, if there is a tile to the left of it, what will this tile become? And if there is one below it, and if there's not one right here, what will it become? And so forth. Let's start by doing this left one right here. So I will drag that in. And the rules for this would be, there is nothing to the left of it. And there is something to the right of it. Okay, and then we can add another one. And for this one, it can be this middle piece. So the rule is that there has to be uh, pieces on both sides of it. And also we want it to be that there's nothing on top of these blocks or else they wouldn't be grass blocks. So then I'll add another one for the right side. And there needs to be something to the left, but nothing to the right and nothing on top. All right, perfect. So that's good enough for now. And I just need to find it. Oh, it's right here. And then what we need to do is we need to add it to this palette. So I will just drag it in right there. Make sure that you can keep track of this one versus the normal ones. And let's try dragging a few in. So you can see as I draw in a bunch here that uh, they, sh they show up correctly as they should. Now, if I drag in some below here, you can see that the default one comes up. And why does that happen? Well, because there's no rule for if there's an object above it. So if there's a tile above this one, there's no special rule for that. And it will go to the default sprite. The reason I chose a brick here is because, well, we always want to have something chosen. So if you see a brick appearing, then you know you did something wrong. So we can add some more rules here and we can add the case that there is something above it. And when there is something above it, we can just add this. So yeah, you can see it automatically changes to the right thing for us. All right, perfect. And then, yeah, I'll just keep on adding more of these rules in order to make this uh, look nice and correct. So. We want it to be when it is surrounded. Then we use this one. If we have nothing there, but we have the blocks there, then we want to use this one. So I'll add another row so we can start to see the effects. And then, okay, so for the opposite side, we want to have it so there is something above, below, nothing to the left and something to the right. So it's starting to come together now. And then for the piece below it, it can be this one. 
So that's the case that there's something above, there's nothing below, but there's things to the left and the right. And now for the corner pieces, we have this, we have this, and so for the bottom left, it would be there's these two, but there's nothing here and there's nothing here. And then for the bottom right, that and that, nothing here, and then nothing here. And I will have this entire project available to download so that you can not have to go through everything that I just went through in order to make sure things are working. But you can see here that right when I added these, they don't quite uh, adjust based on the ones above. And that's because the ones above are this rule tile, or not rule tile, just general tile. They're not the actual rule tile. So because of that, you have to keep that in mind. And that's useful to know in case you still want to have some grass on top of other grass. And another thing that I will recommend is you can have multiple tile maps. So you can have a tile map in front of this, and then you can add you can add all kinds of different things in front or behind the uh, tile maps that you're using with the rules. And there are some other special features here. So for example, you can have things rotate or a mirror the Y direction or something like that, or just keep it fixed like this. And also, you can change the collider, and you can also have the output be random, for example. So what you can do is you can like change this to 7, for example, and then you can add a bunch of different possibilities, and based on that possibility, the tile will actually uh, be one of several possible combinations which is really nice to add. So that just means all you would have to do is keep on painting this and there can be a bunch of like different variations, for example, different types of rocks inside here and it can start to look really nice without doing much work at all, just one time putting this together. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will uh, have this project available and also the GitHub link will be available and thank you for watching.